Hi, Steve here. I want to keep this brief. This is the inside workings of Football Cruncher. What it does, it brings the matches uh, up to three days in advance. So today, t tomorrow and the next day. So we've usually got three days of matches here. And what it's designed to do is to narrow down uh, on the top rated matches for the home favourite for the home favourites, lay the draw, away favourites, correct score market and over 2.5. So there's five categories that the software looks at to give you the options um, if you want to bet them. And what it, how it does that is there's a settings tab which you can make the settings and the ratings, the, uh, the ratings will be reflected in what comes up when you push the home favourite button, lay button. Uh, away favourites etc. So in this case if we look at the home favourites we're looking at any games where the home favourite is 75 uh, rated at 75 so 75 essentially percentage chance of winning and then we can put the odds that we want to come up so anyone between 1.3 here and 1.8 if the match is rated at 75 or higher and the odds are in that range then it will come up when we click on the home favourites. And the same for lay the draw, away favourites, correct score and over 2.5. So you've got the option to change those uh, parameters to suit what you want to bet on. So once you've got those, you update them. If you're happy with them, you don't have to go in and change them each day. They'll just roll over uh, each, each time you open it. This is a cloud software, so you can use it on your phone, your iPad, your PC or Mac. So the first thing you do once you open it and you've done your settings is to import and this will bring in the ratings for today and tomorrow and the next day. Usually you can get three days ratings except Saturday and Sunday you don't get the whole three days. So we've brought this up here and you can see it's got December the 4th, December the 3rd so it's all a bit mixed up there. We can click today and it'll only bring the matches up for today which is the 2nd of December. So once we've done that, we are pretty much good to go unless we want to do some other things like go into the leagues, for example, and uh, sort the leagues that we only want to follow. So if you're not interested in what's happening in Japan or France or that, you can just go and say, click on the English matches or the Spanish matches or the German ones, whatever you want to show. Otherwise, if they're all blank, they'll all come up. We'll just leave them all blank for the minute. And we've got little sort arrows here which uh, help us sort and we can look at uh, deleting or clearing days that we don't want. Time, so you may want to want the early morning games. You can see there just after midnight, 1 o'clock in the morning, 3 o'clock in the morning, that's my time. Up here you can, uh, over here on local time, it should reflect your computer time. If it doesn't, then you can put the time in up here if you're using maybe a VPS in a different country, then you can just put the, the time difference that you want it to be from UTC. Okay, so we've got it set now and we want to look at home favourites. So what it does now, by clicking on that, it brings up all those matches that are 75 plus and with the odds between 1.3 and 1.8. We can fluctuate and we can bring up the highest odds or we can go over here and we can bring up the highest rated matches or the ones that are just on 75. So you've got that toggle to do that. Uh, you've got your local time and your odds. Okay, so we can go through, look at lay the draw. So these are the matches that are between 3.5 and 4 and are rated 20 or less. Okay, you can even get the ones that are even hotter. Um, the lower the rating here, obviously the less chance of being a draw and that's why it's in the lay the draw. Away favourites, so we can once again um, bring in by odds. So we've got four matches that qualify on the settings. Correct score looks at the under under 2.5. So we're saying if the high probability of being under 2.5, we want to lay the game. Uh, sorry, we want to do the correct score 0001101120. Zero, 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 one, one, zero, one, one, zero. So the software is telling us that strong chance less than two and a half goals are being scored so we should get one of those five correct scores covered if in fact the match ends in under 2.5 and then we have the over 2.5 so these are matches where we are looking obviously 
at being more than two and a half goals scored. And why are we doing that? Because their percentage, if we look here, their percentage of being over 2.5 is over 60, which is the limit that we set. And we can sort that by the highest 65% of these these six, seven games here are predicted to be over, over two and a half goals. So there's the five categories it gives you uh, straight away that you can sort by. Let's just say, for example, print. We can uh, print it and it will turn it into a CSV file and you can print that off or even print it off in Notepad if you want to. Um, save it in notepad I mean but you can print it off and uh, you've got a record there to keep your score keep your bets keep your odds whatever you want to do I'll just cancel that and you can export it in a CSV uh, file oh, sorry an Excel file and I'll just bring it up so you can obviously could use this in open office or something like that we've got the matches for today with all the ratings the prices etc so very handy if you are uh, wanting to print it out and do a bit more research on it. It will bring you up. It will bring up the matches, obviously, that are meeting those sort criteria. And the other feature is is the past results. So there are a few days missing due to uh, some problems with the servers, but generally you can see, like if we go on Saturday, bring up this is Saturdays, and we could. Uh, we wanted to just we might be only interested in England to have a look at what's happening so we could pick out the English leagues that we want to look at click OK and then we'll only have those leagues along with the results here so the good thing is you can click on home favorites okay we can see Arsenal Newcastle was the favorite and it won 2-0 you can look at lay the draw only one game qualified, Lincoln uh, there at 0 1, so that was a winning score. Away favourites, there were nothing. Correct score, there was nothing. Uh, over 2.5, we had one winning bet there, the Bournemouth game, and we lost the Lincoln game there at 0 1. So you can go through and look at past ratings since the 1st of November, and uh, hopefully we can capture every day, but it's a great research tool if you're doing that. So that covers what you can do with Football Cruncher. It just gives you the home targeted matches uh, very, very quickly. And as I said, it'll work on your phone. So if you're out and about and you want to bet, you can do it that way. You can sort, obviously, by times, etc. So on behalf of Mike and myself, Steve, thanks for watching this Football Cruncher. And I hope that you can see some benefits for it in your football betting, whether you're betting singles, doubles, triples, quad, uh, quadrellas. If you're doing any of that, we've got a software called Fortune on 4. I'll put a link underneath this video where you can make your own doubles, trebles and quads, uh, providing the matches obviously are finishing before the next one starts. It's a great way of actually compounding your uh, winnings and turning some short price football games into a good payout over two, three and four matches. Thanks again. We wish you all the best. Cheers.